Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Revenant. The trailers alone were thrilling and captivating without giving away story and blowing the entire film for audiences. The awards buzz has been out of this world. And then you have one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Leonardo DiCaprio, front and center. How could I not be excited to see this film? And let me tell you, it doesn't disappoint. After Birdman last year, and now The Revenant, Alejandro Inarritu is really becoming a powerhouse director in Hollywood. His voice is so unique. His vision is just so revolutionary to the film industry. This is what filmmaking is all about, pushing the boundaries and expressing yourself through your art. And I really feel that's what Inarritu does here in The Revenant. So many of his choices on shooting this film were out of the box, seemed a little bit crazy, but they really paid off because the cinematography was astounding. That Canadian wilderness just looked amazing on film. And the movie always felt genuine. It felt real. It felt lived in. And that's exactly what I think he was going for. You never felt like you were watching a movie. You could tell this wasn't a soundstage. And even his camera choices with the angles and having the breath fog up the camera or things kind of splatter onto the camera type thing, they made it feel lived in, made it feel like you were experiencing it. I think even brought the theater down a few degrees because you were so cold watching them run around in this wilderness. Plus, I loved the decision to just film in natural light. There was no artificial lights used in the film. And again, it just added to ultra realism. And that's why you need to see The Revenant in theaters because this film is an experience and one you're really gonna wanna watch on the big screen. It fully captivates you and again, just takes you out into that atmosphere. I don't think I've seen a more atmospheric film this entire year, again, Wonderful directing, beautiful cinematography. I can't gush about it enough. But I also really want to give credit to Leonardo DiCaprio. He was amazing here. He fully committed to the role. We've heard all the stories. We've heard the very high lengths he went to to get this kind of realism. And it paid off so fantastically. I lost Leonardo DiCaprio in the role. He just embodied this like rugged, crazy wilderness man. And I just, I don't see how the Academy cannot award him for this role. He comes to bat time and time again and he's just so fantastic here. Come on Academy. But also Tom Hardy was really, really good as well. I also kind of lost him. Sometimes it literally didn't even look like his face anymore. He was just crazy, wild, and got completely lost in the role. And how about Domino Gleason? He's had such an amazing gear. Ex Machina, Brooklyn, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and now The Revenant. While I didn't like him very much at all in Star Wars, this was a nice refresher onto how good he can get because he was also very strong. Just overshadowed by stronger performances, but don't overlook him. He really contributed to a strong cast overall. And we've all heard about it, the bear attack scene. It's as good as you heard. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It looks ultra realistic, just amazing work there. And the entire movie is just thrilling. It grips you and keeps you gripped. It's intense the entire time from start to finish. You're just enthralled in this tension filmed experience. But, as much as I'm gushing over the film, there also were several problems. The first of which is that I'm not actually sure if there were voiceovers done, but it sure looked like it. Several times throughout the film, the characters speak different languages, and even sometimes when they were speaking what I think is their native language, their mouth didn't sync up with the words. So, it was really distracting. So, I'm not sure if that was actually a just terrible lip dub or they really move their mouth like that when they talk? I don't know. It was just really strange. 
I also think there were at least two or three moments in the film that weren't trying to be funny, but kind of came across funny. They were just shot so quirky or, you know, like that last little thump or that last little cherry on top to a dramatic situation that the audience audibly laughed. And that's not a good sign in this movie. I don't actually think Inarachu was gunning for laughter almost anywhere in this entire film. So to have the audience laugh more than once is not that great of a sign. Also, there are a few sequences that require an angel of sorts, and they have the person hanging in really weird positions. Again, it was very clearly a stylistic choice, but also a misguided choice because it just looked kind of ridiculous, especially amongst everything looking so fantastic and so amazing. To see someone who is clearly being like held up by a harness right in the middle of their back was super jarring from the rest of the film. And they cut back to these kind of weird scenes several times throughout the movie, and each and every time it's just like, ooh, that kind of looks ridiculous. And then my last complaint is the very last shot of the movie. If they had ended this film 30 seconds earlier, I would have loved the ending. I don't know what it is, I don't know if other people are gonna have a strong reaction like I did, but literally just the last shot, not the ending, just the last shot completely baffled me. I didn't understand, but it's not complex like Birdman. It's not meant to make you think. It just kind of is. So that's not necessarily the best way to end a film, but I think other people might get the desired impactful effect. I just didn't love it. But overall, this is an amazing survival story. It's a wonderful revenge plot that I can't really recommend seeing on a big screen enough. Again, to get the full experience, I think you really need to go out to the theater and see this one. It's definitely one of the stronger films in the awards race this year. So, that has been my review of The Revenant. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Revenant? If you've already seen it, what did you think? And what is your favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!